Shout out to Modern Family's Funniest Couple. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mitch and Cam moments on Modern Family. Where'd she come from? Oh, oh, because she doesn't look like us. That's offensive. Oh, Jerry. Oh. For this list, we're looking at the funniest, cutest, and most touching moments between Cameron Tucker and Mitchell Pritchett on this mockumentary family sitcom. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Oh, you know what you need. Yeah, it's a bad world. The gentleman world. You know what you want. Number 10, Cream Puffs. All right, you know, I'm, I'm going to give the speech. You are not giving the speech. What? You're going to be stuck no, with right. these people for the next five you're right, hours. You're right, okay. Modern Family hit the ground running with its brilliant and hilarious pilot. In one of the earliest scenes of the show, a woman walking past Cam and Mitchell on an airplane notices the, quote, baby with those cream puffs. Look at that baby with those cream puffs. Okay, excuse me, excuse me, but this baby would have grown up in a crowded orphanage if it wasn't for us, cream puffs. An already irritated Mitchell believes she's being derogatory towards him and Cam and proceeds to make an impassioned speech to the airplane passengers. Luckily, Cam manages to stop him in his tracks by pointing out the cream puffs that Lily is holding. Love knows no race creed, or gender. And shame on you, Mitchell. you small-minded, ignorant few. Mitchell. What? She's got the green puffs. And with this, we knew that Cam and Mitch would be our favorite characters. We would like to pay for everyone's headsets. Number nine, the pumpkin chunkin story. I think I have to tell my pumpkin chunkin story. Oh no, no, you don't have to. No, I kind of think I have to. This entire episode is wonderful, but two moments stand out. The bizarre pumpkin chunkin story itself and the touching way in which it's utilized in the story. Cam states that he once launched a pumpkin across an entire football field. And despite his insistence, neither Mitchell nor the other Pritchetts believe the story. Yeah, I'm just saying maybe you take pumpkin chunkin out of the rotation. Oh, I guess you're right. Maybe I could just... Yeah, stick to the ones that really happened because people love those. Excuse me, what? I'm, I'm just saying people laugh more at stories that are true. They go to a nearby field and test Cam's story, resulting in one of the most touching and philosophical endings in the show's history. It's a beautiful message about dreamers, realists, and the ways in which those two factions often coexist and aid each other's belief systems. You see, the dreamers need the realists to keep them from soaring too close to the sun. And the realists, well, without the dreamers, they might not ever get off the ground. Number eight, Lily in the elevator. We all knew that a simple trip to Hawaii would be anything but simple. Is it me or is Lily more relaxed too? Oh, yes. She is. I think it's because she's really picking up on her energy, you know? And considering Mitch and Cam had a baby, we knew it would have something to do with her. <laughs> what? Oh, you what? what happened? While in the hotel, Cam and Mitch accidentally leave Lily in the elevator. Cue one of the couple's famous freakouts. Taking the stairs! Lily, we're coming for you! They proceed to scream and run through the hotel, and while Mitch realistically asks for help, Cam tells no one in particular to steal off the island! <laughs> Luckily, Gloria is there to save the day. We love Mitch and Cam's freakouts, and Eric Stone Street is at his absolute best when being hysterical. Number seven, goodbye to the house. Sooner or later, everyone has to say goodbye to a house. Whether it's your childhood home or the place you've been living in for years, the bittersweet feelings always come when you're forced to move on. What? I I'm not ready. Well, get ready and we will be discussing why you were time of my lifing without me. Modern Family perfectly portrays those bittersweet feelings when Cam and Mitch say goodbye to their house. Goodbye, wall dance, from when we thought Lily was a trombone prodigy. It's sad to see them move out, especially after spending 11 years with the characters and the location. But Cam's optimism and walk down memory lane serve to alleviate the more dour feelings. It's sad, it's funny, and it's cute. In short, it's the perfect send-off. Mitchell! That was your last eye roll in this house. You know what, when the new baby comes, can you not do it as much? Because, you know, you did it around Lily a lot. <laughs> Number six, airport shenanigans. Season eight's five minutes is a wild ride of an episode. And it sees Cam and Mitchell taking sleeping pills to get through a plane ride to Turks and Caicos. Cheers. Cuidado. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a mechanical emergency forces them back into the airport. Cue them attempting to catch a connecting flight from Dallas while loopy on powerful sleeping pills. I don't want to go to Dallas. We're going to Turks and Caicos. Dallas is just where you make your connection. I'm sorry, I'm having a really hard time processing information right now. We took sleeping pills. The results are simply fantastic. They forget their own daughter's name, calling her Linda and Lucy, write things on Mitch's arm memento style, and steal a metal detector from the Dallas airport. 
We're not condoning drug use by any means, but we need more stoned Cam and Mitch. It's really good stuff. Lucy. Her name is Lucy. We're coming home, Lucy. Number five, picking up their adopted son. Cam and Mitch naturally freak out while picking up their adopted son from the hospital. Hey, this is too soon. She wasn't supposed to give birth for two more weeks. Yeah, and you know, not to be critical of women, but how hard is it just to hold it in? Lily points this out and states that they always follow a routine when anxious. Cam gets hysterical, Mitch worries too much, and they proceed to turn on each other. This is just your process. You get hysterical, you worry about every detail, then you turn on each other. No, we don't. Yes, we do. How dare you? However, this petty bickering is put aside when they actually see their son in person, which is a powerful testament to the connective nature of family. This is a bit of a meta-modern family moment, as the writers acknowledge that they're following a general outline. But there's nothing wrong with a bit of meta every now and again, especially when it's this cute. Our son, he's beautiful. <laughs> We got this. Number four, Fizbo defends Mitch. Cam's clown character Fizbo is a fan favorite. And when he's the subject behind moments like this, it's not hard to see why. Listen, Carrot Top, I didn't touch you. Oh, so do God, the smart thing. Shut your hole, get in your car, and drive away. Is there a problem here? Mitch is lightly bumped by another man's vehicle at the gas station, which provokes an altercation. Wanting to defend his boyfriend, Cam gets out of the car, while dressed as a clown, mind you, verbally berates the driver and forces him to apologize. What the hell are you? I'm the ass-kicking clown that'll twist you like a balloon animal. I will beat your head against this bumper until the airbags deploy, so apologize to my boyfriend right now! It's always a treat to see Cam turn threatening alpha male, and it's enough for Mitch to see both Fizbo and his partner in a new light. Apologize! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But then the clown whips out that ridiculous clock and all the tension and badassery are hilariously deflated. Let's go. We're gonna be late. Number three, locking Lily in the car. If they're not trapping Lily inside a hotel elevator, they are accidentally locking her inside the car. Who are amazing parents? We are. I can't hear you. We are. Don't you forget it. And yes, Cam gets just as hysterical. Perhaps even more so. Immediately after discussing their fantastic parental qualities, Cam and Mitch proceed to lock Lily in the car. Did you put the keys in the bag? I put the keys in the bag. That's oh, Mitchell, I told you not to put the keys Don't in the bag! Out. Cam goes ballistic and vows to break the window open, while Mitch grows increasingly concerned about the judgmental stares they're receiving. We, lo we locked our baby in the car and people are judging us! I swear to God, I'm gonna break it! Do not break the window, you'll get glass on her! Sir, please tell your wife to relax. Everything is going to be okay. That's a man. Really? It's one of the show's most iconic moments, thanks to Eric Stone Street's funny performance, some brilliant lines and jokes, and the unexpected but hilariously realistic ending to the ordeal. Sir, we just sent the signal. The door should be unlocked check, now. Check the door. Check the door. Check the door. It's not unlocked! Oh! Oh! Okay. That is amazing. How did they do that? Number two, the Lion King baby reveal. When you think of Cam's extraness, you undoubtedly think of the famous Lion King baby reveal. Immediately after Mitch defends Cam and says that he isn't very dramatic to his family, the lights dim and the circle of life begins playing over the speakers. You come into my house and you insult me and my boyfriend, who, by the way, is not that dramatic. And, oh God. In comes Cam carrying Lily and reenacting the beginning of The Lion King by thrusting the baby into a literal spotlight. It's a hilarious showcase of Cam's theatrical and dramatic tendencies, despite what Mitch may think, and the comedic timing on display highlights what made Modern Family such a joy to experience. Exciting! Uh, just turn it off. I can't turn it off, it's who I am. The music. I am so glad my favorite Cam and Mitch moment made this list. It's Cam's, I'm breaking the window, scream, and their whole freak out there. How about yours? Did yours make the list? Maybe it's number one. So let's look at a few honorable mentions and then we'll find out. Beautiful, Gloria, just like my Mitchell. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, but just barely. Is this how loud you were talking? Uh, well, it, it might have been a little bit louder. There was traffic. I mean, I almost had to shout. You almost had to what? Shout. A little bit louder now. Shout. A little bit louder now. Shout. Hey, 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 hey. After one, throwing out all of our food and two, blaming me, he entered stage three. Soap actress. I just wish my sister would put herself out there more if she had so much to offer. Why are men so superficial? We were, we were playing charades and I, I had no idea how to act at my clue. And all I could think of to do was, and without missing a beat, Cam says, Casablanca. 
All I did was this. Casablanca. Put a little boogie in it. Huh? See? Fun, right? <laughs> oh my, was that her head? No, I think if it was her head, she would be... <laughs> Yeah, that was our head. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Getting Married As funny as Modern Family was, it was also incredibly touching and sweet. Case in point, Mitch and Cam's wedding. You can't get married like this. You two deserve the kind of wedding you've been talking about nonstop for the last nine months. Despite a chaotic lead-up, the wedding itself is perfect. The marriage sequence hits all the right emotional notes, starting with Jay offering to walk Mitch down the aisle. I'll take your seat down. We're about to start. Actually, I thought you and I would take a little walk. The sweetness continues from there, including Phil officiating the marriage, the I do's, the kiss, and Claire's beautiful voiceover speech. It's a perfect representation of Modern Family's penchant for sweetness, and it is by far the best moment involving our old pals Cameron and Mitchell. Then by the powers vested in me by the state of California, I am privileged to pronounce you spouses for life. <laughs> you may now kiss your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. I'll take your hand, I will break your reality.